Oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name's Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward in your productivity. So today what we'll be doing is we'll be focusing specifically on an application called Matcha. And Matcha 3, it's called, is something that I've been meaning to check out for a while. It's something I've been using in the last few weeks to write some blog pieces and it's something that's really gauging my interest at the moment, especially when it comes to editing. So let's take a look at Matcha 3. And this is the icon over here. So it's an owl. Um, and essentially, Matcha is a application where you can tie all of your Evernote and Dropbox services uh, and essentially tie them in to the writing experience. So this is a way for you to write up all of your notes. It's basically a client for Evernote and Dropbox. So to give you an example, on when you open Matcha, um, you get this on the left hand side, which is your menu. Up here, you can access all of the notes across all of the um, sessions. Uh, you can add your Evernote and Dropbox down here. You can even be able to store stuff locally on the device as well, which is quite powerful in case you don't have an Evernote or Dropbox link. So once you've chosen all of your selections here, so what you can do once you've attached your Evernote is choose the notebooks and also all of the notes that you want attached to this account. So I've just chosen a few here uh, that I use occasionally and I want to upload large writing, maybe long form or short form articles too. So what I can do here is I can click into this one called Daily Planner and this is just some examples I've set up. So this is where the experience really kicks in. So as you can see, you get the same note experience as Evernote. You click into the note and once you've got this up, you can edit all of this in real time. So this is essentially what appears on your Evernote screen up here, you've got your ability to see what notebook comes from. You can see the title, and from here, you can see the tags as well. Down here, you have the ability to edit the note. And as you can see, I've created some like text boxes. And what I love about this application is creating check boxes, bullet points, and things like that is really, really simple. So all you have to do when you create this kind of stuff is just simply tap. And this is a very heavily gesture-based application, which I really love because obviously this is why I'm starting to use it a lot more for content writing because it's something that's really playful and fun. So as you can see here, I've already created some uh, really simple checkboxes. And what I can do simply is use them to strike through those notes, which is quite powerful. You can even be able to you know, write text really simply uh, on here. And it's really fast and fluid to use, has a super fast sync as well. So everything you upload is really, really fast and smooth. You can insert images as well. And with the images too, you can edit the size of the image. And that's quite powerful when you have lots of images and you want the ability to make things look kind of uh, gallery style, uh, which is quite valuable if you're sending this over to someone. You can also add tables to each of the stuff, which is quite valuable. And additionally, from here, you can add all of that kind of context there. From here, you can choose some card, pre-formatted text and select breaks and continue to add text here. At the top, whilst you're writing, it gives you an indication on how many words and characters you've used so far. And you can even click undo, which is really, really valuable, as well as search the document for any text. In the far right hand corner, you can also share it out, which is quite powerful. Additionally, you can save the images in the selection, which is also, again, really valuable in case you wanted to just extract the images. So going back to this experience, what else you can do is simply choose all of the notebooks. And I just want to go into a bit more detail on this because I think this is quite valuable. So it brings in everything from uh, Evernote and just simply syncs it really, really well. So here are some interview questions that I had for Rohit the other day, and I'll tag that in the description. And here's a lot of other content that I can simply access and get in touch with. And all you do to add your Evernote is simply go over to the settings cog and add Evernote. You can add iCloud, you can add Dropbox. And that's really powerful because I can get all of that synced in one application with a really nice writing experience that doesn't distract me from anything experience is super customizable as well. As you can see on these themes, you have different types of themes. So you've got blue, pink, green, and kind of like a brownie. 
color, which is great. So the whole kind of experience in writing is edited and really kind of changes how you feel about the application. You can also switch to dark mode, which you can use at night to be able to kind of edit. You can change the topography, which I really, really love, because obviously Evernote doesn't have this kind of depth of functionality. You can increase the size, you can increase the line spacing, and also change the actual text you're using. So you can actually change it to look uh, a lot more kind of classic or kind of rustic with typewriter there. Something to add here is you can simply add folders and notebooks and notes straight from this plus button. And you can sync it down here by just tapping this button. And I found the sync one of the best syncs I've had, especially offline. I tend to do a lot of writing when I'm offline. I think it's really valuable that this sort of application has that kind of feature involved. It's really fantastic. Up here, just to add, you've also got search. So you can actually search all of your notebooks. I'm not too sure about notes, but you can go through and find the right note and notebooks that you have. So Match has been out for a little while now, I think three or four weeks, and I think it's really a valuable application. So the Matcha app is now available on the App Store. If you type in Matcha, M-A-T-C-H-A, three, you'll be able to get this experience. I believe it's $9.99, which I think for the whole experience, especially with Dropbox and Evernote embedded, is a reasonable price, especially because you know people are looking for a better experience on Evernote. Anyway, guys, that was a quick video on Matcha. Um, so you can also try out Matcha by going to www.matchaapp.com slash beta and be able to get access to the beta there. And I think Enrico will be able to give you kind of um, full abilities there to be able to test it. So anyway, guys, I really want to thank you for your support recently and also all of your sharing too. So make sure to share this video. For, make sure to share the video to someone you think would really appreciate Matcha 3. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.